Hey beer people. What's up y'all? Pushy Brothers here today and we got a special beer review. Yes we do. All the beer reviews are special but this one's even more. This one's uh, deadly special. We're actually uh, doing the Walking Dead Blood Orange IPA by Terrapin. Yeah man, Terrapin teams up with uh, the creators of The Walking Dead and some other company, which I don't recall the name, but it's not written on here, so. So who cares about so that? So I guess they're not that important. Probably um, Terrapin. Yeah, well no, it's Terrapin, <laughs> Walking Dead, and some other company. But yeah. nonetheless, Terrapin Beer Company and The Walking Dead have teamed up to brew the official beer of the undead. Made with blood orange peel and a horrific amount of hops, this bloodthirsty red IPA will have you prepared for the upcoming zombie apocalypse. Pretty dope. Uh, label label art's too. awesome. It's got a zombie, zombie turtle. It's coming in at uh, 6.7 ABV. Nice. So that's, that's a good, uh, good, good uh, ABV. Yeah, for six this. seven. Yeah. I'm well, now this is considered a, a red IPA. Yeah. So I'm curious if it's gonna be like ridiculous in any way. Yeah, I don't know. I'm you hoping. know, um, I, I have high expectations. So do I. Terrapin's always got some dank, awesome dank beers. They've never um, uh, disappointed. Never me. disappointed. I, I can't think of any Terrapin beer that I had that I was like, this is just crappy. You know, like never. Right. I, I've always, and I'm not even being a dick writer. It's just the truth. You know, they've had some good beers. Already off the rip, it's got a nice dark. So oddly enough, it's more of a brown than a than an amber. Well, yeah, well, amber yeah. and brown is practically the well, same. Well, I know. You, you always say amber for red. Well, I guess amber can be reddish. I don't know. Amber is a red too. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I guess potato, potato. You know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it's more browny than uh, ready. <laughs> more brown than red. Um, we haven't seen anything about it, but I made a point not to look at anything that anybody's right. posted about it so far because it just came out uh, a couple days ago. And I guess the new yeah. season of The Walking Dead starts this week. So yeah, I think it is coming up this Sunday. Off the rip, it's not as hoppy of a no, smell as smell I thought. No, the, the smell. aroma is really there. It's got more of a, an, a red ale aroma. Yeah, it does. The, it, it honestly does smell like a red ale. Um, it's got a little bit of a uh, little bit of. Head. I can kind of see the redness now if you put it up to the light. Yeah, you put it up to the light. It does have a red. It does a have blood a red uh, hue. blood red? Yeah. Oh, oh, bloody red! But uh, the smell though is just not very, not very. Uh, it's the hunt for red hot toby. Yeah, we're hunting for it and we're not getting it. Not in the smell, but no. I'm not going to shoot it down for the sake. But that's just aroma hot. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You know? It has nothing to do with the flavor. I mean, yeah. it, it could give you an idea, but honestly, it doesn't. So It's got some nice little bubbles to it. Bottom taps. Oh, yeah. Happy. Yeah, because I don't want to break the chalice. You know, I hate, I hate to say it's this. It's not hoppy enough, It's man. not very hoppy at all. It's very red. It tastes like an, almost like an imperial red or something. It reminds me of like a, a red uh, brewed with beets. Yeah, you I, know? yeah, it, and it doesn't even give me that much of a red. Yeah. Man, damn, man. I that really, sucks. I really had I mean, some, no, it doesn't suck, but... But I had some high expectations. Yeah. yeah, I really did. And honestly, I'm like, slightly disappointed. It doesn't... It says it, it says deadfully hopped, or what was that, that, that word? It's... Dangerously hopped? Dangerously hopped? Horrific amount of hops. No, it's not horrifically hopped at all. A horrifically low amount of hops. Wow. Yeah. It's got some bitterness to it. It does. But overall, More of a dry it tastes, finish than, it tastes uh, like a red ale. With hops. Maybe Imperial, because uh, the hoppy taste will give it yeah. almost a boozy. I got a little heartburny taste from it. But damn, man. I I really expected this to be like... Like, I was hoping it'd be like... It tastes like a, a hopped red, red ale. Like a slightly yeah. hopped red ale. Yeah, man. I, ooh. Wow. It's almost like how, how you would expect the hops to come through on like a, a, a Belgian, uh, like a white IPA type hop. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's, 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 it's not very, it's not very, it's not very overly hot. No. Oh, wow. Wow, man. If you like red ales, you'll really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, so I can tell you that. This review went a totally different direction. I Me thought too. I was going to go. Wow, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm disappointed, but I'm disappointed. I'm slightly disappointed. I'm slightly disappointed, guys. Yeah. Um, I love Terrapin. They always make some good beers. Um, but I'm not, we're not sugarcoating shit, man. No. Um, it's just not that good, man. The, the word horrific should not have been used. Well, this. horrific would be accurate. Well, it was okay. bad. <laughs> a horrific amount. They were like, oh shit, only two, um, only two ounces of hops fell into the bag. This is horrific. No. We didn't have enough hops to brew this beer. That yeah. could have been. But I will say, as, as time's progressing, we're, we're going to run our mouths for a little bit and see what happens. Um, I get a dry hop finish. I'm getting a little bitter, bit of dry hop kind of It's kind a dry hop, um, uh, back, back of the tongue palate. Um, and mind you, it's, it is fairly cool. Yeah. You know, the beer could probably but, be a little warmer. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't think it has a, a, a temperature service. No, they didn't even have a uh, recommended uh, glassware. And glassware. Not, not all I mean, we already food, knew, so. but... Um, damn, man. Yeah, but it's still... It's like a dry hop red ale. It is. I mean, I'm not saying that's horrible, but, but in damn comparison... It, I expect, an orange peel, I expect it to have a citrusy... 
hoppy with obviously that ready. ready I wanted that. Hoppy. I wanted that as shitty as it's gonna sound. I wanted that ridiculous type yeah. hop, like that character hop character it. with a little more body. Right. I mean, damn, man. Yeah. And and we'll probably get criticized a little bit for keeping comparing it to the ridiculous, but damn, that's a fucking red IPA. It and is. I feel like that that's and, uh, really just high and just to go. Only thing we looked at is Beer Advocate gave us a 95, which was world class. Yeah, and, and I'm not going that far. Yeah, and and that's going on the short. And actually, no, that that wasn't even the um BA on that. That was a different beer. Was it? Yeah, that wasn't even this beer. Oh, no. what? Yeah. What was the, the Boy King? Oh, so you, we haven't looked this up. Like Hold I was on, saying I earlier, yeah. yeah, totally lied. Yeah, yeah, we haven't done any research on it. So. Now I want to know. Oh, there's no score yet. Thank you. So no, no sc- score. So I'm gonna score it at a. If we're going by percentiles, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like go the, like an eighty percent. I'm giving it an eighty-three, yeah, and I'll give it an eighty. But it's definitely not not. It's a solid uh, beat. My thing is, it I'm so be. glad that I was wrong about it being voted as a ninety-five because I didn't say somebody to like. Yeah, this. I'm just sorry, guys. Label's cool. Yeah, I label like art's stuff. dope. I like the little the edge the right blood, here is yeah, bloody. The bloody. But damn it, man, it's not horrifically hot. So no. I'm giving it an 83. I'm gonna give it uh, on a scale of one to ten. It'll be an uh, seven, eight, yeah. seven or eight. I'll give it a seven and a half on a one to seven ten. Seven and a half. Uh, so I really put it at seventy five percent. Right. If you give it, I feel a little bit different. Like, like I feel definitely when I say right. Yeah. yeah. Eighty percent sounds a lot higher than what I want to give it. Yeah. Or, or eight out of ten rather. Yeah. Sounds higher. Eighty percent right. sounds good. Eight out of ten doesn't. It's just fucking. Right. It's Math. just uh, perception. But um, yeah. So yeah. there you have it, man. We give it a B. We d- we don't um. We think it's 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 unfortunate that it's hyped. If you're, you know, a, it, I wanted it, to be hyped and be accurate. Right. I didn't want hyped like it was gonna be a great. Beer, I guess you got two damn. things going on. If you're a red ale fan, you're gonna enjoy it. Yeah. If you're a hop head, you're gonna be disappointed. Yeah. Or 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 just go in it, watching this review, and knowing that you're not don't expect a hop bar. There you go. And then you can tell us we're assholes because then you're yeah, no, no, man, maybe not. And I'm burping. I'm getting a little hoppy taste in the burps. And stuff. It is. It's not, you know, but it's, it's just not. It's not overly prevalent. I guess would be the. the I don't know. It's not, man. And blood orange peel, I don't taste a lot of orange in it. I don't, and, and I, see, I've never had a blood orange, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. But it's, maybe, it's still like an orangey. It's but, like a, a tart orange. Yeah. So there but, you have it, man. Yeah. Terrapin, y'all, you guys are great, but this time I just, I'm, I won't buy it again, so. And unfortunately, I got two of these. Yeah, so I have to drink two. So. I, I was worried about exclusivity. Yeah, there you have it, so maybe you learned something. Maybe you won't. Yeah, that's off, man.